So, hi everyone. We have this picture of uh, this guy here, and uh, what we're going to do is uh, we're going to add a lot of beat up stuff to it. Okay, let's get started. First of all, of course, load the picture into uh, Photoshop. If you don't have it already, just drag and drop the, the picture, either of the guy here or the, the picture that you, you have of yourself or a friend or whatever. Um, drag it into Photoshop. I'll be using two photos for this. So I just went to Google and found a few pictures of scars and wounds and cuts and bruises and stuff. Primarily to get uh, some references, but also to uh, have something to work off of. So the first picture I have is of a scar and uh, I'll drag it to the uh, topmost bar here so that it opens as a new picture. This is a nicely uh, disgusting red scar that we will uh, put directly onto his forehead up here. So we'll also be using uh, this picture here of a scar on a nose and uh, position it in the same area on the other guy's face. So we'll start out with the easy one, which is uh, this scar here. We have all the three pictures open in different tabs right now. The uh, first tool that I'm going to use is the lasso tool. So I'll just select the lasso tool over here and I'll drag a selection all the way around the scar. Make it uh, wide because we need some uh, fading areas that we want to delete afterwards. So I'll just uh, hit Control or Command uh, C for copy. Then I will uh, go to the guide.jpg here and I will just paste it, Control or Command V. Then I'll take the select tool. So over here, take the select tool. I'll zoom in a bit um, and I'll position the scar in the area where I want it to be. I'm holding down shift, by the way, as I'm scaling so that it keeps its uh, aspect ratio. I might want to rotate it just a tad so that it fits a bit better the, the angled face that he has. So maybe like this, make it a bit bigger. So I'm pretty satisfied with this angle of the scar. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to delete some of the, uh, the areas around the, the scar itself here, um, just to make it uh, blend in easily. This can be done in multiple different ways. You can use either a mask. So for this I'll just be using the uh, eraser tool because that's probably the easiest solution. Um, so over here in my tools I'll select the eraser tool. It'll prompt me so do you want to apply the transform for this picture that I've uh, inserted here. It basically just means that it wants to apply the uh, changes that we made that we have made in size and rotation. So I'll just click apply. Zoom in a bit more. I'll make my brush a bit bigger. By the way, the shortcut for this is hold down Alt on your keyboard and then you right click and drag either left and right or up and down to also uh, change the hardness of the brush. If this doesn't work on your computer, well, you can just right click and you'll get the dialog box for that and you can just set the size and the hardness. So uh, for this, I'll be working with a pretty big brush and I'll have a, a hardness of zero. And what I'm going to be doing is I'm actually not deleting the picture itself. I'm actually going just outside of the edges here. So you can see how it gets a very nice fade. I might even work with a bigger brush so that the fade becomes even more prominent than it already is. So in some cases you might just need to change the brush size over and over again, mm -hmm. which is why the shortcut uh, Alt and then right click and uh, drag and drop is actually a good solution. So right now I'm pretty satisfied with the placement of this uh, scar here. Um, it doesn't fit completely uh, color-wise. It's very saturated red, which doesn't fit the picture because it's actually a bit desaturated and also a bit uh, yellow. So we're actually going to change some of the colors in the scarring. We're also going to change the color of the scar that we want to put on his nose as well. So what I found is that it's actually easier to work with another color system when we're working with these skin tones. The, if you look at skin tones, they are mostly yellow, but also a bit magenta, sometimes even cyan, depending on the white balance that has been used on the camera. So now what we're actually going to do is we're actually going to work with the, within the SMIC system. Um, so if you go to uh, image and you select mode, then you can change it from the RGB color to SMIC color. This will change the overall colors in the picture. So if you have some bright greens and other pretty bright colors, they might actually be uh, toned down quite a bit. So it prompts me that this uh, might change the appearance of some of my layers, like I just said. Um, and it asks me if I want to flatten it before. So no, we don't want to flatten because otherwise the... Um, and just click OK to the profile. Because otherwise the... Um, picture here would be integrated into the uh, the face, so the background color, and we wouldn't be able to um, actually change it anymore, which would kind of defeat the purpose of uh, changing the colors. So next up is actually we want to adjust this with an adjustment layer. 
The adjustment layers are located down here um, in this little menu in the lower right hand corner. This little contrast symbol is the one we're going to use. So if you click it, we want to be working with curves. Um, I find them easier to work with. You can also use levels. You could even go hue and saturation if you want. But uh, for this, we'll use curves. These are the uh, curves adjustments. First of all, smook is just the overall contrast of the uh, uh, the picture that we're changing. And then we can also, uh, in this drop down here, select cyan, magenta, yellow, and also black. Before we do that, we actually need to make sure that we will only affect the scar itself. Because otherwise, if we just start changing it, you can see that, well, it'll change for the entire picture. And well, we don't really want that. So what we're going to do is we're going to right click the curves over here. We're going to click the label where it actually says curves one, right click it. And this might be a bit out of frame, but it's called create clipping mask. So if you click, you will get this little uh, downward facing arrow that will actually say, okay, I will only affect the layer or the layer just below um, where I'm sitting. So if I go back in here and we'll probably change the magenta first. So if you go to magenta and you would just drag the curve down a bit, you can see how we actually change the color of only the scar. So I'm going to take out a bit of magenta, not too much. Then I'm going to go into the yellow channel and just uh, add a bit of yellow because he's very yellow in this picture. Then I'm going to the smick and I'm going to make it just a bit brighter like so. But I'm also going to select the uppermost point up here and drag it downwards just a tad. You can see how this will affect the brightness basically of the picture. And because it's very kind of desaturated, I will drag out a bit of that so that it integrates a bit better. So um, that's the result for now for the, uh, the scar. Of course, we could go in and really work with smaller details, but uh, for the case of this demonstration, this is actually good. So next up is actually uh, adding bruising to his uh, eye here. Um, this can be done very easily actually with a built-in uh, function in, in Photoshop, and it's actually called the burn tool. So um, in our layer stack over here, please select the background layer. And then in your toolbar, you have this burn tool here. It might say dodge tool right now, it might say burn tool, it might say sponge tool, but you need to select the burn tool. Just click and hold the tool and uh, you'll get these selections. So burn tool. I will make my brush a lot bigger so that I can kind of uh, draw out a bigger area at once. And um, this is where you'll need to really look at it and zoom out and zoom in a few times and figure out if, if, if that's the look that you're going for. So. We're actually going to draw out a few times here, maybe a bit extra up here. You can see how this darkens the overall tones, actually. And that's what we want to do. We actually just want to take the, the colors and just make them darker. Because we already have a lot of skin tones here, they will start to become darker red and well, seem like more or less bruising. So now we've given him a bruised eye. Okay, so the last thing that we're going to change uh, or going to add is actually this uh, scar from this uh, beat up face here. Again, the same procedure as we did uh, just before. So we're going to select the lasso tool. In this case, I'm actually going to select a bit of the nose as well, because then I get some of the contours. And I might be able to reuse some of that in the picture that I'm working on. So I'm going to grab a bit of the nose here, some of the scarring out here, a bit of extra chin. And that's the area that I'm going to select. Again, I will copy paste it. So control or command C, I'll go to the guide JPEG. And then I'll select control or command V to paste. I will select my move tool. I'll zoom in a bit. So um, this is where it kind of gets tricky because we want to make sure that it fits this area here. Um, but it's kind of hard to place also with the size and everything. So um, what I tend to do is actually go to the uh, fill over here and set it down by a few percentages because now it becomes transparent. Now I can actually see the contours in the background. So by the way, if you want to move around like this, just hold down space and just left click and then you can move around. Uh, I hold down alt by the way and use my scroll wheel to zoom. And so we're going to place this here. We might want to do it a bit smaller, even rotate it just a tad, maybe a bit more so that it kind of follows the, the nose up here. Move it down. Yeah, something like that. And we still have kind of this um, nose curvature that we can preserve. So I'll select OK to the uh, changes here. And I'll go to fill and set it back to 100%. Again, I'll select my eraser tool. 
and I'll go just outside of the edges here, preserving his original, but also a lot of the original picture that we just took from the other. So now we've added this scarring here. Now again, we need to add some adjustments to it because right, right now this skin tone is way too red in comparison to his. So uh, what we're gonna do is we're again gonna make sure that the layer here is selected. We're gonna go down to the contrast or the adjustment layer button here. We're gonna click it and we'll go to curves. We again will right click the label, in this case curves two, right click and select create clipping mask. Now it'll only affect the underlying layer. And we're gonna start out with the magenta tones. I'll zoom in a bit so that you can see the effect a bit better. And I'm gonna drag down the magenta colors. See how we kind of start to fit the yellowish color of his uh, skin tone. I'm gonna add a bit of yellow, not a, a lot because we already have a lot there. Then I'm gonna go to the smick. And again, I might actually darken it a bit. And I will drag, of course, the output down so that it fits his skin tone a bit better. So we might actually want to drag out a bit more yellow um, so that it'll fit the bruising of uh, the eye area here. Might also want to darken it down just a tad more. So I'm going to smick up the contrast just a bit. And uh, yeah, now we have a bruising of his face. So if you want, you can of course add even more uh, scars and bruising, find more pictures in Google if you want. You can also uh, play a bit around with the burn tool on his lips and stuff so that it seems like he also has some bruising on his lips, nose and all of that stuff. So you can really uh, go amok on his face basically. Okay, so one last thing to do is um, to change the picture back into RGB mode. However, if we just change it back uh, via the uh, image and then uh, adjustments uh, or mode and choose RGB color, well, we'll basically be removing our adjustment layers and we don't want that. So um, first of all, we wanna right click our adjustment layers over here. So right click and choose merge down just out of frame here. So now it'll get merged. Do the same for the one on top here, so merge down. Now both of them are merged. Now the changes that we've made to the settings um, will uh, stay. If we go to image mode and choose RGB color now, we can just choose don't flatten. We'll still keep our layers. We'll keep our changes to the layers here. And now we can basically save it as a JPEG or PNG or whatever we might like. Okay, but that's uh, the tutorial, the basic overview of how to beat up a face. Thank you very much.